Check in the text below and also in the comments, I'll provide a link on how you can purchase this product or one similar. It helps me out a little bit if you use that link. Thanks a bunch. Tonsil hair hanging around the toilet again because I'm just obsessed with trying to keep the toilets clean. And yes, I cleaned it before I called back here. You see that mess coming up there. It is not a ghost. I do not have ghosts in the bathroom. It's my diffuser that's going. And I have a video up about that diffuser. But today I'm here to talk to you about Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner with Bleach. Is this going to solve my problem that I have under the realm of very old toilets? Stick with me and let's see. Today I'm here to talk to you about Great Value Toilet Cleaner with Bleach. With this handy little spout that helps you clean under the realm. Been gone Gross. for a week, no flushing. This Gross. is what I see. Gross! Let's clean this nasty thing first. These do a great job, but they don't do everything I need done for this toilet. I'll let this sit in here for a little while and then show you what it fell to clean up under here usually. So that's what I'm going to try to see if this will help solve the problem. I'm going to show you later. Also, I'm going to let this soak because I don't have a traditional toilet bowl cleaner. And I'm going to have to use this pad to scrub up underneath here. On the Great Value Toilet Bowl Cleaner Bleach, we're supposed to squeeze the cap where indicated and turn counterclockwise to open. The cap does not come off. Turn clockwise to close. Keep children and pets away from toilet during cleaning process. Flush toilet before applying Great Value Toilet Bowl Cleaner with bleach. You're going to coat the end. Step three, you're going to cut the inside of the toilet and underside of the rim with six ounces of toilet bowl cleaning part. And how much are we going to measure that? How are we going to measure that? Brush the entire toilet bowl and leave for 10 minutes before flushing. Flush toilet. There's the main ingredients. It's a Walmart product. There's their guarantee. Let's see. Oh, the cap does come off. Let's see if this works. So the problem with this toilet is that we have just really nasty water and the toilet is very old. So up underneath this ram, I'm going to turn the camera upside down so you can get a closer look at this. We have this nasty stuff right here. And my little toilet brush cleaner just won't get up in, in there. And the only thing that stops this is to put a bleach tablet in the tank, but that is not good for the components in the tank. It destroys the, ru the rubber, it destroys all the components in there. So it's really a no-win situation. So we'll see if this bleach thing will help this situation here. It's going to be a limited visibility here. No idea if this is six inches or six ounces or not. All right. I suggest getting a piece of paper towel or something to use it to close. Because it's going to have product on it. Let's wait 10 minutes and see what we have. I'm going to leave the lid up while this is happening because I do have chemicals, other chemicals in there and I do want to have an explosion in my bathroom. Really not wanting to have that happen tonight. God, I can smell the bleach all the way from here. I'm standing up. So yeah, you want to not be hanging out of the bathroom when you use this stuff. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Let's see what it looks like. Hang on, we're going in. So still a little bit of debris in there. I have to scrub at that. I'm going to scrub it and see what happens. Okay. 
these things dissolve over over time. I smell the bleach. I don't think that's going to get all of it. There's still a little bit in there, but maybe over time it will help. Not bad. I'm gonna do another round just to make sure. Let's see how it looks. One week, I've no flushing. I've been out of town. There's no additives in the tank. I didn't leave anything in the bowl. It didn't get flushed. There's no growth of mold or mildew around the edge. Awesome. That looks so much better than last time, didn't it? Doesn't it? Didn't it? I know my English. We still have some of that debris up here, but it didn't cause the whole bowl to become moldy and mildew, mildewed in our absence. So I'm going to get a different kind of scrubby brush and see if I can make all that yet go away. That's, that's under the rim. Honestly, I haven't used any of this in about five weeks. I've been gone for a week. And the toilet didn't get flushed and I didn't have that excessive nasty growth that I've had before. So I think that even just the couple of treatments that I did have managed to cut down on the mold and mildew. I haven't added any other products to the, to the toilet tank or to the toilet rim. So I would say that regular use with this product, the great value toilet bleach cleaner would be effective. I'm about to use it again to get rid of that. This time I'm using an old brush from a Hair for Man product. Let's see if I can get in here and scrub it a little bit. I'm afraid I'm going to drop my camera in the, in the toilet. I don't want to do that. It does seem to be working. So I went around the ram with this brush and you can see or hope you can see that it did manage to get some of the uh, crud that's up underneath there out. Looks much better. It's able to get more, much more up under the rim where the worst part was. So the product does work. So it's a little bit in there that I need to scrub on. But it does work. Toilet. Thanks for watching my video about the great value toilet cleaner with bleach. Remember, it's free to like the video, it's free to leave a comment, free to share this video if appropriate. And if you're checking the text below, I will provide a link on how you can buy either this product or one similar. And until we meet again, let's just help each other stay clean. Even though it might be embarrassing sometimes the things that we have to clean, we still have to clean them, right? If you have time before you go, watch another video. Thanks so much. Bye.